I remember one day when my little daughter was getting baptized. So we went for preparation for baptism at my church at the All Saints Cathedral. And the provost of the cathedral asked me, do you believe in child baptism? I said, I do not believe in child baptism. And he said, why are you bringing your child? I said, because I don't want you to give her trouble asking why were you not baptized. <laughs> and we entered into a debate and he asked me, why don't you believe in child baptism? I said, it has no biblical basis. Because if it had biblical basis, Christ would have been baptized as a child. That debate still lingers, and I'm quite certain some of you may not agree with me, but it has no biblical basis. As many as believed were baptized. Children cannot believe. They have no power of discerning. I'm still talking about rediscovering mentorship in the Bible. In this congregation, if I were to pick any one of you to recite for me the Ten Commandments in the order in which they were given to Moses, I can assure you, and I'll not try it, I don't want to embarrass anybody. <laughs> Out of ten, possibly only two would recite them in the order in which they were given. Because to you and me, Ten Commandments have become Ten Suggestions. Ten Suggestions to be obeyed only when it is convenient. And yet, if we were to use the Ten Commandments alone as the basis of governing our lives, we would need no other laws in, in, in the world. We would need no other laws in the world. But we do not look to the Bible. The Bible does not guide our lives. The Bible is a convenient thing that we make reference to when we want to cover our sins. It has become a moral fig leaf that we use to hide our nakedness. And I want to tell you that until and unless we change our ways and it's a constant struggle for all of us, I now understand why Christ said how difficult it shall be to get into the kingdom of heaven. I do not know whether it's in Revelation where there is an attempt to say the number of people will get into heaven and heaven is described. I used to think it was very small. I now know not many people may get there. Not many people may get, despite our pretension to the contrary. It is in Matthew 24, 24, where it is recorded that there shall arise many Christs and many prophets who shall work wonders and inasmuch as it were possible, even the very elect would be cheated by those Christs. And there is no shortage of them today. In every